ABB will provide the marine software automation and propulsion for five new Genting vessels. They will be built by MV Werften in Germany and will serve the Asian market. The three luxury Crystal Cruisers mega yachts will be built to Polar Code 6. All will be powered by Azipod thrusters. We had a very fruitful meetings with the yard and with the owner. Uh, owner had very clear ideas what they want to have and the yard as well had very strict requirements. We had a round table meetings where we went through their ideas and wishes and we went through also what we can deliver and what are our limits. And uh, in my opinion, uh, this is something what we haven't seen before, just an open dialogue. Uh, maybe one of the reasons is that the shipyard and the ship owner have the same owner. Azipod Propulsion has helped revolutionize the cruise industry and they are fitted on the majority of large new cruise ships. The market has already seen that this is it's the best way to propulse a cruise ship and it gives a freedom of design of the ship because you don't have the shaft line and these things that, that would be st stuck in the way. The benefit from, for the Asipod propulsion comes from direct water flow to the propeller. The pro propeller is in front of the unit and there are no extra appendages or long shaft lines disturbing the water flow. It gives maneuverability, it gives you the, the possibility to go with the ships in, in harbors that you cannot normally go to. The two Star Cruisers vessels will each be fitted with three EXO models. The EXO has become a stalwart of the cruise industry. I think the biggest success behind the Azipod EXO is the maintainability and the reliability that our customers also know from the history. The three Crystal Cruisers ships will utilize the Azipod D model, which has less installed power, to navigate Arctic conditions. The process has enabled ABB to combine its expertise in the cruise and ice-going sectors. It is interesting also from our perspective. Uh, I mean, on the, on the back side of me, there are, the, there are, there are projects which are highly ice-class vessels, but now we are combining the open water with ice-going vessels. We know how to build a propulsion system uh, which can operate uh, efficiently in open water, and we know also this Arctic environment. And I think this is maybe the first time when these two uh, features are in the same product, in the, in the same Azipod. 